What's up, guys? Pin Pokemon Master 1904 back again. I'm bringing you guys a battle vid from the Pokemon League that I run on Saturdays in San Diego. I'm playing uh, Team Plasma's Finest. Um, he's playing that new Lucario Man uh, Landris My Champ deck, and I'm trying out a new deck, uh, Plasma. And so, pretty much, I'm not too sure. On how to use plasma. I know I got the basics down, but uh, you know it's still a little difficult if you don't know quite sure what you're doing. So um, right now we're setting up here, and I believe he's gonna get to go first, and we'll see what I start off with here. And yet I'm the guy in the blue shirt, the big mofo. And yes, I am a big mofo. That's why uh, I use. Snorlax as my mascot, you know, I have no shame in my game, but uh, yeah, I'm starting off with a Thunderous, he's starting off with a Lucario from Furious Fist, um, and he's just used Karina, the new supporter, that is a search for one fight Pokemon and one um, item card, <laughs> so yeah, sorry, his, his proxies are a little, uh, black and white. I'm not too sure on all the new cards, but I'll do my best to explain them. Here he looks like he got out a, uh, what's that, a Machop. So Machamp, what it does is boosts an extra 20 damage for your fight Pokemon, kind of like Ateria's fight song for uh, Dragon types, but except it's for fight types. So he's going to go ahead and attach a fighting and a muscle band and pass. So one of the things Team Plasma's Finest was telling me was that I run too many, because uh, I run the whole four line of Team Plasma balls. And he said that I should drop some for Ultra Balls to thin through the deck a little faster. So I was wondering what you guys think about that. Like, I was able to get use three Team Plasma balls right here. And I don't know. Maybe he's right, I can drop it down to a 4, uh, drop Team Plasma Balls from 4 to 3, and then bump my Ultra Ball line from 2 to 3, so uh, let me know what you guys think down below. Right here I'm going to search out for 2 Deoxys, and I am looking for uh, the 4th Deoxys, but it ends up being prized, and since Lucario's 180, um, for Deoxys and with the Power Connect that boosts an extra 10 damage to your Plasma Pokemon's attacks and a Muscle Band, um, Lugia can Plasma Gale for 180 and one-shot it and get that three prizes. So since I don't have the four uh, once prize, I decided to go with a Plasma Kirum. Now, in my head at this moment, I'm thinking that Lucario's weak to water. I found out later on in the game, during the game, that Lucario EX and um, Machamp are actually um, weak to Psychic. So later on, I figured out that Deoxys is actually my best bet. So right here, I attached the um, Rainbow Energy. Got to put 10 damage on myself. Um, for the most part, this deck is ready for the new format. For the exception of two blends that I'm probably gonna take out in with the new format with the new rotation and throw in make it a four full four rainbow energies. But uh there uh, I should have they people are saying I should have discarded the rainbow and I could have used that when I um used Thunderous Attack but uh Radiant Knuckle but luckily I didn't because I did not draw another energy. So it worked out in my favor, and as you can see, I was able to do 60 damage with the three Deoxys and the attack. So he rare candy into my champ, and with the extra 20 plus, he used I think it's Quartz Screw something, um, knocked out Thunderous, and was able to fill his hand up to uh, six cards. So that was pretty nice. Then he also had a, a Landers on the bench. So right here I'm already down two prizes, a little nervous, and I go ahead and uh, 
ultra ball the whole hand away and this is actually my first game playing wet plasma at league and so you know little rookie at it threw away my switches which I think hurts me a little bit later on in the game but uh, we'll see so I decided to start setting up the Lugia on the bench and I think I just go ahead and pass yes. Oh man, this was a tough game. I it, it was, you know, I was making a lot of rookie mistakes. So I go ahead and pass. Um, I believe he's gonna um try to get set up another Munchamp, which is not bad, you know, because if he attaches uh, another energy to the Cario, that's gonna do a hundred damage plus two um Munchamps on the bench. That's one forty. Most of that is 160, so he's almost knocking out everything. If he could have got um, strong energy like he just did, he could have. Um, oh, uh, the strong energy does another extra 20 if you're attacking an EX. He pit, I believe that's um, not quite sure of the stadium name, but that also boosts the attack of uh, your fight Pokemon by another 20 damage. So he's pretty much set to go. That's pretty crazy. It's going to be a pretty strong fight deck, but I think there's going to be able to have some counters to it. So obviously, um, Deoxys would be a good one. And this is right here where I get told that uh, Lucario is actually weak to Psychic. So now I have to change up my whole strategy. Oh, right here, um, he had searched through his hand and then told me he was going back in. I wasn't paying attention and he colorist, I believe he said. So there was no need for me to cut his deck after he colorist. But if he colorist like he said he did, I should have been able to cut his deck um, before he drew his cards. So that's my fault for not paying attention. So you always got to pay attention people. Always keep your eye on the game. So he's ultra boring. I think this is where he goes for another Machamp. Yep, he's getting ready. He's starting to get them all ready to go. And this game we played before League started. So that's why we got a bunch of uh, people rocking around looking. So he's going to go ahead and uh, corkscrew something, fill up his hand to 6 again, and go ahead and do, what was it, 60 plus 20 plus, I think it's 80, 100, because of muscle band. So I colors machine to Deoxys now knowing that it's weak to um, Psychic, getting ready to do this. A computer search. I think I computer search for the rainbow energy to get Deoxys ready to fight. Yeah, there goes the rainbow. There goes the one damage for the rainbow. And then um, a colorist. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. A colorist of nine, which is not bad at all. I think uh, actually that um, Colorus, if you play a lot of bench Pokemon, is one of my favorite supporters behind N, because N can tilt the game in your favor in so many ways. <laughs> I don't really like Juniper. I mean, she's a strong card, but I hate throwing away stuff. But um, I'm starting to get used to her. You just gotta learn, you know, how to play, use her correctly. You know, try not to throw too much stuff away. There's times where you cannot help it and you end up throwing all the stuff away anyways. So here it looks like I'm just by watching this video, I made a mistake and attached two muscle bands to Lugia. See, this is why you guys got to always pay attention. See, and I think I was already nervous because I'm down two prizes and um, it looks like I might go down another two. 
So I had to end up passing because I wasn't able to attack. So this is where I'm asking again, I believe, if uh, what's my champ uh, weakness is. And I found out that it's weak to psychic. So I believe he go, we'll go, went ahead and knocked it out. So now I'm down two prizes. Uh, he's only down to two prizes. I still have all six. I went, go, went ahead and end him, which helped me a lot. Here's what I was talking about. And tilts the game in your favor in so many ways. Now he's going to be down to two cards. Oop, just knocked down all the counters. And I'm going to go ahead and get a full six. We'll go ahead and tap. Can't really see what this hand is. So I went ahead and got rid of that uh, stadium, which will help me survive a couple turns. Discard that DCE. Bring up the Deoxys and went, went ahead and knocked it out. So now at least I took two prizes. So right there he's trying to count out whether or not he had enough damage to do it. But because he didn't get the, um, because I got rid of his stadium that did the plus 20, that was actually able to help me out. So I attached the blend, the water electric one, to, um, to care, I'm sorry, mind fart right there, to go ahead and get it ready just in case I have to face that Landorus. So, I think I went ahead and knocked out his Machoke, and um, now I'm only down three prizes. So, if I can get a DCE onto um, my Lugia, I go can go ahead and Plasma Gale for the game. So, he had a pass again. And that N really, really hurt him. So I go, went ahead and attached another blend to cure him. I switched and Frost Beard. Oh, a Lysander. So I Frost Beard is 30, 60, was 30, 40, 50, 60, 120 because of weakness. Which is not bad. So, and I think I, I believe I run two Lysanders in this deck instead of Catcher because you know Catcher is crazy with them coin flips. So he's gonna go ahead and Lance Judgments for the knockout, and I go ahead and bring up Lugia. So he's already conceding. Yeah, and I have the DCE. So, thanks for watching guys.